How to Sell Ebooks on Shopify Digital Product Guide. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can sell digital products on Shopify because we all know Shopify as one of the world's largest platforms to be able to create and sell your products. But with digital products, setting them up can seem a bit tricky at first, especially if you haven't used the Shopify product creator beforehand, you might not be familiar with how to add a digital product. So you can do it really simply and easily. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, for any digital product, you usually have to create two files for that. One is going to be just a representative image of your digital product. So let's say that I am selling a book. So if I'm selling my ebook, then for my preview or for the product preview, I only might want to display maybe the book cover, the intro or the first index. Other than that, I don't want the rest of my book to be added in the product images because why would anyone purchase the product if the entire product is available in images? So the first is your image section and your secondary section is going to be your PDF, which you upload as your complete file. Now to set this up, we're going to first go into settings on our Shopify dashboard. From there, click on apps and sales channels and from the top right, click on the Shopify app store. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, you are going to search for digital downloads. Now, once you search for digital downloads, you will see this free application called digital downloads. There are some other tools available as well. You have SkyPilot, Big Digital Download Products, LDT Digital. You can really choose whichever one you prefer. I recommend going with the one that has free features that are going to be sufficient for you. So with the SkyPilot application, you can send or allow people to download a hundred megabyte of file storage, as well as two gigabytes of monthly bandwidth, unlimited product orders, and direct email delivery. So the product delivery would be automated. Then if we compare that to some of the other featured products, such as big digital download products, you guys can see on their free version, again, they have 250 MBs of storage, 15 orders, three products. So you guys can see there are uh, different variations. You also have digital downloads by FileMock and on the free version, you can sell any type of file, unlimited downloads, automatic email delivery, and upwards of 250 megabytes of upload space. So I'm gonna be using the SkyPilot digital download application. And I'm just going to click on install and a new tab will open up, which will allow us to install that into Shopify. Now, once we do that, we're just going to click on install on the bottom right and our SkyPilot digital download application will now be added into our Shopify store. Now, from the left, you will see the SkyPilot application and you're just going to pin this to your navigation. I like to pin it to my navigation because it makes it easier for me to access. Now, over here, this is going to display your first dashboard with SkyPilot. Then, right under SkyPilot, you're going to see your products. So over here, you're going to select your digital product, but before you select it, you have to first create that product. So simply click on products on the top left. Once you click on products on the top left, click on add product on the top right. Now from here, we are going to create our book. Now I'm gonna add my book title firstly. So I think my book title is Shopify guide or whatever is my book title. After that, you're going to generate a description. Now I'm going to write my basic description, which is ebook for learning Shopify, digital download, instantly sent via email. And I'm just going to choose the tone to be of a expert tone. Click on generate over here and the AI will generate a description for you. 
One thing I always do recommend with these types of ebooks that you're selling on Shopify is to mention that you are going to instantly deliver the book via mail because oftentimes customers don't realize how they're going to receive the digital download product and they might still be looking forward to their product even though you already delivered it via mail. Now below that you have media and you might say, hey, what do I upload in media? Well, over here, you're just going to upload either your book cover or a couple of first few pages. So things like your index or your chapters, you can upload that over here. Below that, you will automatically see that the category will be selected. And then you can add the pricing as well. After that, I'm not going to be charging taxes and I don't want to track the quantity. And this is also not a physical product. Below that, we also can add variants to our product. And then we have some meta fields that are not required for this particular product. So I'm just going to save it as it is. Now, once I have completed this basic structure, it's time to add my actual product file or PDF. So again, we're going to click on SkyPilot on the left. Once we click on Sky Pilot on the left, click on Products right under Sky Pilot. Then over here, choose your ebook. Once you select your ebook over here, you're going to see the section called Add Files on the right. You can add files, license keys, as well as videos. But for me, I just have to upload a PDF which is my ebook. And this is why I prefer SkyPilot over one of the other competitors because the competitors do allow you to add license keys for free. However, they have a limited number of digital products that you can create. So for ebooks, because you don't need a license key, it's just easier to use this particular application. Now, once you have completed your product, you can proceed with the next step you will see on the right, if you scroll down, mark items of this variant as fulfilled in Shopify admin after order is completed. So you can enable this setting and this will automatically mark all the orders as fulfilled because they are going to be automatically delivered to all of the purchasers of that product. Now below that, you even have an option to notify all past purchasers. We're not going to do that because we don't, we do not have any previous purchasers of this product. And just like that, we are ready to go. So now this is our first digital product that we have created. So now we have attached our PDF to our product. And you will see on the left, right under Sky Pilot, you will see all of the orders that are related to any of the ebooks or any of your digital products. You can also monitor all the files that you have uploaded. So you can go into the Files tab to see that. And you can add more files even if you still haven't created the product listing. You can bulk upload files here as well. You can also go into the settings to also adjust your settings. This includes your delivery settings, which are the most important thing to set up. And then you have the default number of download attempts for each file in a customer order. So you can see that they allow at least five to let the customer download the particular file without any interruption. Now let's say I want this to be 10 by default and then you can also choose if you want to require login. Let's say I don't want to require login. I maybe want to deliver content for orders with pending or partially paid payment status. I don't want to add deliveries for those particular uh, people. And I want uh, downloads for all devices as well as refunded orders. So I do want to revoke access. And then we also have fulfillment delays. So the number of minutes to wait before fulfilling an order, which is one minute. So that is fine. I do think that's a fine number of delays to keep. Click on save on the top right. And just like that, your Shopify ebook is ready to sell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.